in the process of borrowing $190,000, I had to really sharpen my pencil. And I had to prove not only to the bank, but to myself that I could make um, a good living farming and be able to pay back my, my loan that I borrowed from them. And so that started the process of looking at the numbers and where the money was coming and going. If there's nothing else you leave here today with, I want you to memorize this equation. Simple, irrefutable business equation, which simply says profit equals income minus expense. At the very uh, right-hand column, you have a total number of pounds of beets that you need to grow. So the idea behind here is that you're targeting what you grow very precisely to what you think you can sell. This is an incredibly important one-page synopsis of everything you do on the farm. It's pretty simple, you know, how long does it take you to load the truck, how much it costs to deliver if it's a 20 miles round trip at 40 cents a mile, it's $8. And so you have a cost for one delivery, it's $33. If the truck is empty, it's gonna cost $33. If it's full, it's gonna cost $33, okay? And so then if you want to, you can assign the value of what's in the truck and get a sense for how much it costs per crop. Sometimes I'm sitting at my desk with so many things to do, I just become paralyzed. I kind of stare off into the distance and my eyes glaze over. My wife calls it the taxidermy stare. Needless to say, this is not one of the seven habits of highly effective people. The key to effective management is always remember that effective management comes from tackling the most important things first and following through to make sure they get done. I try to outline steps to make this a reality through different tools of calendars and planners. I also explore some concepts from other people like Stephen Covey, who's written some great works on time quadrants, and try to help people step-by-step step become effective managers of their business. <music>